This is going to be a tour of my geodesic dome GAT system greenhouse. This dome is made out of aluminum struts that look like this. Uh, four different strut lengths, A, B, C, and D, all put together to make this shape. So I have a GAT system installed here. Uh, it's just corrugated, perforated drain pipe, uh, buried only about two and a half feet deep here because we have a high water table. I wasn't able to go lower. That's as low as I can go. And the two feet that I have over the top of the drain pipe is mostly fill that was brought in. And I'm also making a whole bunch of topsoil right now by hauling in a bunch of manure and wood chips. It's still pretty cool outside, but in here it's in the 80s. I have the fan on right now. I'm gonna turn it off so that you can hear me, but if you can see that 87 degrees, turn it off right now. So it's easier to talk. So I'm using this to grow a bunch of tropicals. I have a bunch of citrus in the ground. I'm trying to grow some bananas. Uh, this greenhouse does not get heated all winter long to like to the 60s or 70s. I just keep it barely above freezing uh, just to overwinter uh, most of the stuff that I want to grow. Uh, pretty sure I can grow citrus in here. Now this is Northwest Washington, a zone eight, just north of Bellingham. And these are Satsuma mandarins. I got grapefruit, Meyer lemon, some lemons on here already. I have a Satsuma mandarin hanging on my tree in the ground here. Here's a variegated pink lemon. This is a seedling lemon. Now this one is, wasn't even stressed from overwintering. My avocado here. This is lamb hass. Uh, it completely defoliated, but it's coming right back. Seems like uh, it's just going through the natural process of throwing all the leaves off, except in this case, it didn't do it slowly. It just kind of shed them all at, in a couple of weeks. All the leaves came off. Uh, this happened maybe just a few weeks ago. And now it's just starting to grow with the temperatures rising in here. Uh, this avocado is about to bloom. This is a Leela cold hardy avocado. And so the goal here was to plant stuff that's resistant to some frost anyway. So even if the temperature in here does drop a little below freezing, uh, nothing should die um, it might get some damage but should survive this avocado actually has several avocados grafted onto it i have reed uh, there's mexicola uh, pinkerton hass i have a separate tree of mexicola avocado that i'm growing right next to it i got mango this is the pickering mango uh, this is Neelum mango. This is a seedling from a mango that I ate in Hawaii and I brought the seed back home and I planted it and it sprouted in my room just this winter and this is how big it got in just a few months. It's maybe about a foot off the ground right now. Some aloe vera. Those are my Peruvian apple cactuses. I have some parsley just growing around the center of the tube. So this dome is about 18 feet tall in the middle and 30 feet in diameter, which looks kind of big when you walk into it. Lots of 
space over over the top so planning to grow uh, some annuals while all my perennial plants are still small so I planted some cucumbers I have a whole bunch of tomato starts just a, a lot of tomatoes um, I'm not gonna grow all these in here just starting a bunch of them to grow outside later however I do want to plant some tomatoes in here to have some early and I'm also gonna grow some watermelons in here these are some melons these are some melons and these lights are actually to germinate some watermelon seeds that I put directly into the ground here because watermelons and cucumbers don't like to be replanted or repotted they always go through stress so if you can put them directly in the ground it's best but they won't sprout if they don't get enough heat so I lowered these lights all the way to the ground to keep the soil uh, warm and it's on a timer so uh, it's going to turn on at night only and then during the day uh, I have enough heat from the greenhouse I mean it's 87 degrees in here right now and outside it's uh, in the 50s or below 50 so super hot in here right now this is my fajoa pineapple guava these are some cold hardy citrus uh, for rootstock that I will be grafting later these are just indoor palms probably gonna get these out of here because I don't really have the room to grow something that doesn't fruit this grapefruit is about to bloom here here's another avocado you can tell it went through the winter kind of looking terrible right now but uh, I know it's healthy because if you look at the tips uh, they're all coming back and these are some grafts that I did and the grafts took my little avocado grafts this is the Hass avocado put like four different varieties on on there here are some more avocados this avocado is actually in a pot I just kind of buried it to overwinter it here and I got some avocado grafts that look like they took starting to grow what else I have some dragon fruit this is a Polora. These are actually seedlings. Planted the seeds from a dragon fruit that I bought. And that's what I got. I have several different dragon fruit varieties growing in here. Just kind of rooted. Here's the Asunta 4, Dark Star, Pink Panther, Physical Graffiti. These are blood oranges that I planted from seed, these two. These are some persimmons that are coming back. They dropped all their leaves for the winter. Here's a persimmon. This is a mandarin. This is a clementine mandarin that I planted from seed. You rarely find seeds in the clementines, but when you do, you can plant them and get a nice little plant like this. This is a kiwi. I'm growing pawpaws all around the perimeter in big uh, pots that I'll take out later and plant outside. Here's a persimmon that was grafted and it's breaking dormancy in here these are some cucumber starts the Meyer lemon again this variegated eureka lemon is blooming right now and it smells really good I 
have some small plants that are starting in here. These are tangerines that my sister planted. There they are, Lil's Tangies. These are from tangerines she ate in Hawaii and brought the seeds back home and planted them. There's a jujube that rooted. This is a seedling mango. I have some pomegranates that rooted from cuttings. I have some lemons in there from seed. A couple cuttings that never made it. Here's some more watermelons. This is Jubilee. And that one looks like it is dying from the stress of repotting. So that's why I am putting them directly in the ground and sprouting them again from seed. And I'm sure the ones that will come up from seed directly in the ground will pass these up real quick, even though these are older. So this fan turns on uh, when it's too cold at night. I have a setting down there. It'll switch it on when it drops below 40. It still drops below 40 at night here. And it's March 22nd in zone eight. Uh, drops, drops actually down to freezing some nights. So this fan keeps this greenhouse uh, above 40 at night just from the heat that's stored in the ground and I'll I'll put the diagram of the piping that's underground but there's three exits it comes out on three three ends here around the greenhouse and it turn on during the day when it's too hot pump all the heat underground and then at night when it's too cold the fan will turn on automatically again and heat the greenhouse up. So that's the quick tour of my greenhouse. If you want to see more of videos like this, like and subscribe to my channel. Comment. I'd like to know what you think. I answer questions. So if you want to know something, you can ask me. Feel free. And have a good day.